I really took leadership from my great grandfather. I think all of us look up to my great grandfather. He's the one who created the family name, who really brought the brand, brought it to the United States and made it a huge worldwide brand. He was the type of a guy that uh, he was certainly very well loved by, uh, by everyone that he met. Uh, he had some enemies in the circus because there was jealousies there. But as far as the audience, uh, they just loved to listen and watch him uh, perform. And when he would get down on a microphone, they would love to listen to what he said. Uh, he was just had that kind of a, a magnetic uh, personality. Showmanship. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. And he was a booger on smile. Always smile. Even if you're hurting or it's not going too good, you smile and take your bows, you know, to the audience and everything. Make eye to eye contact with the audience, smiling at them and everything. He was very, very much on that, that you have to sell yourself. And when you're hurting, how easy or how difficult is it to keep that smile on your face? Well, somehow or another, mine has automatically frozen on my face when I get out there. <laughs> because even things have gone wrong in that, and my husband said, you're still smiling up there. Headstand is kind of the signature trick that my grandfather did. He did it on everything. So it's kind of a tradition. If you are an authentically trained Wallenda, you're going to do a headstand. All of us do it who were legitimately trained by Carl Wallenda or somebody in the family. The Tallulah Gorge Walk, I was there with him on that day, and it was daunting. I was a 15-year-old boy, and it was daunting just to look at the, the rigging and to try to imagine how would they set something like that up. And he did the two headstands, one for the boys in Vietnam and one for the local spectators. And we all breathed a sigh of relief after the second one, even though we knew headstand was his feature trick. That was something he could, and he told reporters, maybe seriously, maybe just in jest, I stand on my head to rest my feet. The skywalk that my grandfather did in Puerto Rico was a publicity event for, to to bring um, business to the circus that we were performing in in Puerto Rico. He did the skywalk from one hotel building roof to the other um, and it was right on the water. So it was right on the ocean where of course there's a lot of high winds that come over the top of the building and that particular day the winds were up to 40 miles. I believe they were blowing at least 40 miles per hour. The wire was not set up correctly, and the wire was um, had guy line ropes coming down from it, but they were not attached to the wire like they normally would be. They were shackled underneath, so the wire did have a lot of play, and it was very loose. So when my grandfather walked, he made it three quarters of the way and he did attempt to sit down. And he always taught us to not ever drop our balancing pole. So he sat down near one of the ropes and he attempted to get onto the wire with his hands, but he had lost his balancing pole and it flipped over and it came up under his arm and it knocked his hand off the wire and he didn't have enough strength to hold on with one arm with all that force and he came off the wire and he fell 10 stories down. My first thought was to get to my grandmother who was upstairs in the um, Holiday Inn suite at the hotel that he was walking the, the wire from and I wanted to get to her before the press or anyone else to give her the news. She knew it the minute I got to her. I, I, I got to the door and she opened the door and she said, he's gone. And I said, yes. If the Walenda name is a brand, which I consider it the most prestigious brand in our industry, and I think it would be hard to argue that it wasn't, I think that when the brand is known when the brand is made more of aware of, when the brand is brought into the mainstream spotlight around the world, it can only help the brand. You know, what we do is so incredibly unique. 
as a family. We do something that very few people in the world do. We risk our lives. We entertain millions of people around the world. There's no, no denying that millions of people that would have never heard of the Walenda name wouldn't have known of it of this generation now know who the Walendas are.